If you run an e-commerce website and you want to grow your business, you need a fast website. Why is that, Tony? Simply put, faster websites get better results than slower ones. But it's not just huge businesses like Amazon. Any business that's serious about attracting visitors needs a fast website. So in this video, I'm going to explain the two main reasons why you need a fast website. How to find out if your website is fast or slow. I'll explain what slows websites down and I'll show you the fastest and cheapest way to speed up your website. Sounds like a plan? Come on then, let's get cracking. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickerWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses of all sizes and my businesses host tens of thousands of websites. So I understand the importance of website performance. So why all the fuss about website load speeds? Well, there are three main reasons why speed is important. Number one, Google has admitted that speed is part of their ranking algorithm. Uh, what's an algorithm, Tony? In a nutshell, it's the way that Google calculates its search rankings. It takes hundreds of factors into account to determine who's at the top of the pile and who's at the bottom. Seriously, you want to be near the top. Okay, it's not the only ranking factor, but Google rarely openly admit what their algorithm consists of. So it's worth taking note. Secondly, people just prefer faster websites. Think about your own experiences. How often have you hit the back button when you're on a slow website? Third, the web is going mobile and mobile devices need fast websites. What happens if your website loads slow on a mobile? <sighs> exactly. So how can you find out if your website is fast or slow? Easy. Just head over to Google Page Speed Insights. Enter your website address and it will give you a score. It will give you a score for desktop and mobile so you can see how you perform on both. So, what can you do to speed up your website? Well, according to Yahoo's developer network, there are 35 ways to speed up your website. Isn't that a song by Paul Simon, Tony? No, that's 50 ways to leave your lover. Oh yeah. Anyway, they split website speed into two factors. The back end, which is your web hosting, and the front end, which is your website's code. And many of Yahoo's 35 factors are focused on the front end or the code of your website. Now the truth is, unless you've got an extremely busy e-commerce website, most of these, they're going to give you a diminishing return on your investment. However, one area where any website can get a huge boost in speed is in the back end. Basically, your web hosting. Your web hosting is where the rubber hits the road and it's here that you can get a huge return on a low investment. Now I know it can be tempting to go for the cheapest hosting, but guess what? You're not alone. Everyone loves a bargain. So for many web hosting companies, one way to cut a profit is to pack their customers into their servers like sardines in a tin. The problem there is you're going to have loads of customers all fighting for the server's resources. Things like CPU, RAM and hard drives. But for a small price increase, you can upgrade your hosting to solid state drives or SSD hosting. This is the future of data storage and with no moving parts, they're completely electronic components. And when you compare them to traditional hard drives, they make them look like some kind of relic from a bygone era. It's like comparing a steam engine to a rocket. Without going into loads of technical detail, here's the lowdown. SSDs have no moving parts. They're 100% electronic devices. This means that SSDs are seriously fast. Traditional hard drives are mechanical devices. So they've got moving parts and this significantly reduces the speeds that they can operate at. Hard drive performance is measured in IOPS, which stands for inputs, outputs per second. And this is how fast data can be written to or retrieved from the hard drive. Traditional hard drives operate in a range of between 80 to 180 inputs, outputs per second, or IOPS. But if we take a typical enterprise class SSD drive, 
They operate within a range of between 7,500 to 75,000 IOPS. You don't need to be a mathematical genius to see that that is a huge improvement over traditional forms of data storage. Now the good news is that SSD hosting isn't even that expensive, so it's quite an easy decision to make. Aside from this, they're much more reliable and they consume around a fifth of the energy of traditional gas guzzling hard drives. So their green credentials are outstanding. So why not speed up, sell more and save the planet? So is your website fast or is it running on steam power? Leave me a comment below. I do read them, I really appreciate it and I will get back to you. If you found this video useful and you want more hints and tips to grow your business, then download your free copy of our book, The Website Survival Kit. There's a link below the video and it's completely free. The book is easy to understand and it contains a step-by-step -step plan to grow your business. And if you like this video, please give us the big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the button below to subscribe. Also, share it with your friends or anyone who you know who's selling online. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.